Welcome to our accessibility workshop. I'm Heather. Um, this is my my buddy uh, Jeremy. We work together. <laughs> um, and yeah, uh, let's see. We work at Canonical, and we care about accessibility. And um, noticed some gaps, and thought we would take this opportunity to get developers more uh, familiar with some of the accessibility tools and recognize where some of the gaps were and to just kind of bring more awareness so that we can have it at the front of mind. Um, so here, you want to introduce yourself? Hi, uh, I'm Jeremy Bika, and um, I work on packaging uh, GNOME packages for Debian and Ubuntu. Cool. So we have, we have some uh, actual workshop stuff, but first we wanted to kind of set the stage with uh, some slides so you guys see this. Um, okay. Like I said, setting the stage. <laughs> um, so we're going to use Orca and Inkscape. Um, so if you want to you know, take action during this workshop, you can go ahead and install those however you like. Um, both of those are available in the in, in FlatHub and the Snap Store and the Archive, so very, very widely available. Um, yeah, it, it's even in the Arch repos, OpenSUSE, like, yeah, very, very. Um, there's also uh, Apostrophe and Wiki, wi Wiki, Wiki, um, and uh, we have some headphones. Oh. Sorry for the expletive. So um, we thought, we had envisioned that everybody would be using, oh, here, there you go. Yeah, while I dig out the headphones. Okay, so yeah, we have headphones uh, for folks. If you need a pair of headphones, because we don't want everybody's computer to be chattering at them. It'll be loud and chaotic. Um, so Orca is a screen reader that's going to be talking to you. Um, and if you don't have headphones, we have a rainbow of colors. So you can have a free pair of headphones. These are brand new, unused. You can keep them. They're probably not great quality. <laughs> Just going to be honest. They're <laughs> but they're very pretty. Yeah. <laughs> um, Okay, so, so what are these things that we're talking about? So Orca is a free and open source, a flexible and extensible screen reader. Um, it provides uh, access to the graphical desktop for visually impaired users. Um, it works on most GTK3 apps to some extent, right? Everything's gonna have an asterisk implied here. Um, and it works with some, but not all installers. Um, Inkscape is a free and open source vector graphics editor. Uh, if anybody's ever needed to just like draw a box on a picture, Inkscape is great for that. It's available kind of everywhere. Um, and it is a GTK3 app that is widely available. So that is kind of why we chose that as our example. Um, we tried some other things in preparation for this workshop. Um, Firefox, Chromium, and Epiphany. We found that Firefox, uh, at first we thought that the screen reader didn't work, but it turns out that it does if you start the screen reader before you start Firefox. That's unfortunate. Um, Chromium, it, it straight up does work. So you can have Chromium open, then go enable the screen reader, and then it seems to work fairly well. Um, it works with Epiphany, uh, with an older version that has GNOME 43, but not with the newer GNOME 44 one. Um, one thing to note is that you have to hold F7 uh, to enable like the caret mode for the Chromium web browser. Um, it, it affects like how the web navigation works, and it's essential for using the screen reader. Um, we took a look also, just in general, uh, what the accessibility landscape looks like in GNOME, and this is, you know, we're not experts in this space, we just started looking into it. Um, so this is just a few things that we tried, uh, some things that work, some things that don't. Um, as we kind of mentioned, the Chromium Snap, uh, Epiphany, and Inkscape, 
Um, GTK4 apps weren't as great. Uh, Firefox, well, we thought didn't work, but then it turns out it does under conditions, right? Um, and then we already mentioned Epiphany. And we, and, you know, we looked at KDE as well. Um, and uh, yeah, so we tried Orca with uh, Chromium, Ocular, Kate. One cool thing uh, that KDE has that didn't seem obvious in GNOME was that they had these color schemes. Um, but yeah, so you can go add like um, a filter or yeah, 